All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So, um, we are fully in Global Sync season. Um, I mean, there's just no doubt about that, right? Uh, we're now going to get another summonable character and summonable character banner for Global Dokkan coming right now. So, I mean, it's this is a good thing. Um, I know people are not going to have stones. It's a bit unfortunate sure um but i mean i don't I, like regardless of anything to do the sync like they you know did need to get these characters out now i mean an issue would have been that they kind of were just moving at normal pace earlier at the year earlier in the year they could have been moving just a little bit faster than usual all year long and they wouldn't have had to cram 50 characters in august but it's much better that they are at least shooting a bunch of these characters out now before we go into the worldwide download celebration um we'll see about jiren cell max and master roshi i think jiren probably will come out next week but we'll see for sure so topo is coming we have his dokkan fest announcement uh as well as the tweets and stuff like that we have got his details right here um we have got the actual um uh, info, the global info for Dokkan Fest Topo, as well as Catapesla. Catapesra is how we're saying that, huh? Catapesra. Okay, sure. I, I guess I'll go back and change the... Yeah, that's the, um, the Japanese to English R and L thing. Malik and Merrick and, like, you see that a million times. Different, like, R's and L's and stuff like that. Uh, one thing I do want to point out quickly... This is something I hate. Now, I, I need to choose my words carefully because I am a known dub hater. I mean, I don't... <coughs> like, I grew up on, like, the, you know, Dragon Ball Z dub and stuff like that. But uh, when I talk about being a dub hater, it's shit like this. All right, let's play this. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> Leader of Universe 11's most elite combat unit. The gallant and handsome pride trooper. I am the warrior of freedom. Top. We're not calling him top. No. <laughs> no. No. And that, that shit ain't happening. Uh, anyway, Topo. That's just his goddamn name. Topo is very good. Uh, just flatly. Topo is an outstanding character. Um, Topo is a character that I feel like has had a bit of a negative reputation, almost unfairly, um, because, I mean, he's just bringing a lot to the table that matters a lot when it comes to winning the fight, right? If we take a look at, at Topo here, so Topo has damage reduction, more damage reduction, uh, he has guard, huge defense, he's a rainbow orb changer, and he's a support. This is a guarding damage reduction support rainbow orb changer who people hate on, by the way. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so many, I know so many people have been talking shit about this character without even knowing what the hell he does. <laughs> without knowing what the F he does, man. Topo is really good. Now, Topo, of course, is a super boss's character. Now, I mean, he can work very effectively on, to on super bosses, um, especially with the introduction of Tech Jiren and AGL Jiren, because Topo is a character that can actually pretty powerfully sit in slot one compared to a lot of the rest of the game. I mean, obviously, not compared to Beast Gohan or something like that. Um, so what you could do is you could run a super boss's lineup, something like, I, I mean, I don't know, I guess Broly, Cell Max, uh, maybe Broly, Chi Lai, and Lemo, and then like Topo, Jiren, and Jiren, something like that would work well. Um, Super Bosses has a slot one character issue. Um, it's just most, because all those Super Bosses characters, like Broly and Rose, and, and they all just like are like slot two characters that do a ton of damage. But like Super Boss is kind of overloaded with that. Um, but the problem is, if you're not running double Jiren on Super Bosses with Topo, you're not going to have access to his uh, intro, which is huge. The intro allows him to guard out of slot one, um, which is really important when you consider 
literally the hardest fight in the game right now has locking at the start. So you're very likely to have Topo, you know, stuck in slot two or three or something like that. It's going to be very common. Uh, in the Goku and Frieza fight, not only is it very difficult, you know, for characters to have to be in a specific slot, but it's also really tough for characters to have to get hit or build up. Like, you know, a an extension of that is EJLUI Goku needs to dodge to build up. Many times I get to like 17 and Golden Frieza and EJLUI Goku has had basically no dodges because, you know, it, you can't, the, the spread of attacks and the locking makes it very difficult um, to receive a lot of those hits some characters need. So that's a huge thing to consider um, when talking about Topo potentially without his intro. Um, you know, so you'll be able to guard in any rotation for the first three turns, but he also gets this permanent extra damage reduction. So he's just 30% damage reduction with guard at all times in base with his intro up. Really good. Again, while supporting and rainbow orb changing, he can transform... Uh, starting on turn four, uh, if you have another special pose or defender of justice, um, there is, of course, um, kind of like, oh, wait, wait, it, it is, it's my, I just had a brain fart. It is defender of justice on Goldblum, right? Uh, defender of justice. Yeah. I, the one thing I do wish about Dokkan Info is that it used like the actual just global translations. Cause then for like, as, I know the global translations suck a lot of times, but oh, well that's life, right? Like it's, you know, thank God, at least they're called him Topo, right? Even though he, in the intro, he says top, at least his name is actually Topo. It's so goofy. I, I don't know what Funimation was thinking. Why did they call him top in the, come on, stop it. Anyway, anyway. Um, so we got that. He can do his transformation into God of Destruction Topo. Now, in God of Destruction Topo mode, he is really, really powerful. Um, but this is where, I, I mean, I'm I just, I think for a lot of people, they're just not really going to get to see this character's true effectiveness. Because, I mean, despite what you guys want to say, the community is stubborn about dodge. As in, a lot of y'all decided dodge was bad or worse than the other abilities, or a waste of hidden potential, or whatever you, however you want to say it. A lot of people decided this years ago, and they will never change their minds no matter what. They're just stubborn little rats, rodents. That's it. Just We're just stuck in our ways without being able to come off of it. Topo, unfortunately, compared to every other character in the game, is the number one character you have to have as much dodge as possible. And it will maximize his effectiveness. Because when Topo comes out in God form, he's guarding, which is good. But remember, guard by itself doesn't really do much nowadays with how hard bosses hit. But then he's also got 80% damage reduction. So every time Topo gets hit, and it is truly when he gets hit. Like, if, if he dodges, he does not lose this damage reduction. So every time Topo is directly hit, he loses damage reduction. So, I mean, you can burn through that fast. And, you know, one of these big crazy bosses, say Goku and Frieza or something like that, can blow Topo into hell very quickly. Um, if they line up a ton of attacks in the same slot. That's something that's just, it, it's just, it is what it is. So, you'll have much more ability to kind of freely transform and use this character to his utmost effectiveness if you give him a full dodge build. And I think a lot of people are just going to be very stubborn and not do that. So, they're going to get just, just factually a weaker nerfed version of Topo. And a lot of people are just not going to see how good he is because they're using this weaker nerfed version. It, it's un, it's unfortunate. It's a shame, but it is what it is. I mean, I know how stubborn people are. So, um, Now, he also does have this Key Blast nullification, which can be helpful. There are several bo uh, bosses where you could uh, go ahead and take high advantage of that. Remember, his first turn in God form, he has a guaranteed nullification. And then on turns after that, you have a 50% chance. Uh, the other thing Topo does is on turn six, you could use his Hakai, which gives him permanent crit for the rest of the fight. So after he does the Hakai, he has permanent crit, which is really good. Real, of course, really good. Um, can work well against, say, Goku and Frieza, too, who, remember, you're going to need to be critting in order to actually damage Goku and Frieza. Uh, all in all, I'd say Topo is a very good unit. This is my most recent tier list. Uh, I don't... I, I have no changes. I, I like exactly this. 
A lot of people were talking shit about Super Saiyan 3 Goku, but I mean, it's just silliness. Being a god turn one is the most important thing there is right now, um, which Goku has... And Boo, to an extent, if you can get the revive. But Boo is very good at the start of, like, Cell Max and these fights. So, it's like, he's fine. Um, but the thing about Vegeta is he can be a little squishy turn one. A lot of people were saying Vegeta at one. I don't really argue against that too much. Because um, Vegeta, certainly, towards the end of the fight, is definitely a lot better than Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I just kind of value just... Because the game has moved towards making opening rotations kind of like the big annoying thing, right? With these stupid ass, not start of battle, but start of turn dumbass restrictions, attempt limits. Like they're intentionally trying to annoy people with opening rotation stuff. So I really value characters who are can kind of just go against that. You know, Beast, AGL UI, in Evolution Blue Vegeta, AGL Super Saiyan 3 Goku. That shit is just so good. Um, it just gets you set up and ready to roll throughout the fight. Um, now, I have this as kind of like the top four. I would say I love Topo, big Topo defender or fan or whatever, but I do feel like Vegeta, Boo, and Super Saiyan 3 Goku are a bit better. Not enough to separate a tier, but whereas I could see Vegeta and Boo at one, I, I, I would not argue Topo as one. But I don't think Topo should fall down a tier either. Because Topo, the thing about all four of these characters at the top compared to Roshi and Rose, is all four of these characters could handle slot one. Boo, I mean, it's more so that he can literally kill two enemy turns, right? With his revive and his ghost usher. He doesn't really go in slot one, but like those are really unique special abilities that puts him on this level. And obviously, Super Saiyan 3, Goku, Topo, and Vegeta are slot one characters, so. Uh, yeah, again, I, I feel like this. Uh, if you could get Topo and you want to summon for it, I mean, try. I, I mean, I, I would probably recommend not to do it, though. The thing about uh, this time right now for Global, nobody's going to have stones, right? And uh, no one is going to summon for Topo over, you know, trying to get, like, UI Goku or something like that. Oh, my God. I will throw up. This is... Oh, my God. If this is the say You can't... I mean, you can't... Never mind. You, can, you can't summon on this, dude. That's so bad. Oh, my God. Catapesla, or Catapesra, as it, as it is, uh, is terrible. He's awful. He's god-awful. He, he's he's absolute ass, this guy. Uh, worth. He's just literally a worthless character. So, it's... You know, it's not like there's some good banner unit you could get there. It's just... You just don't want to touch this banner. Topo is great, but... It's not worth it. With Tech UI and Beast just having been out, we're about to move into Worldwide Download Celebration. I, I know they put Topo here. They want to try and bait people into summoning for Topo for the Universe 11 mission, which is about to drop against the Goku and Frieza fight. That's the exact specific reason they are doing that. Where is the Universe 11 mission? I think it's going to be right... Uh, it's somewhere in here. Because I did it after Easy A Tech Jiren. Here is the Universe 11 mission. Uh, it's tough. It, it's definitely tough. It's definitely tough. It's definitely tough to get that Universe 11 mission done. Um, so, I mean, I know there's going to be struggles with that. With good usage of support memories and, you know, uh, items and stuff like that, Japanese players were able to make it through this with Tech Jiren and Margarita and stuff like that, right? You know, and then, like, a friend Tech UI Goku. So it can be done even with SDR Jiren and Tech Jiren and Margarita, Casserole, these level of characters, but it's a very tough mission. Universe 11 versus the Goku and Frieza fight. It's very hard. And they're clearly banking on dropping Topo right here to try and bait global players into, you know, pulling out the credit card because you're out of stones for UI Goku and Beast and summon for Topo to try and get the mission done. That's obviously the intent there. Uh, but yeah, I, I mean, if this is the pan, this is, I, I mean, you have one character I would consider good, Topo. Um, I, I mean, I, that's a little harsh towards Gamma 1, I guess. 17 and 18, I feel like, are even below Gamma 1. I, I mean, at least Gamma 1 I still have on here. I I have not been too impressed with what I've seen from him. If you juice Gamma 1 up like crazy, he could look good. But, again, remember, you could do that for literally any character. Any character released in the last year, you can artificially juice them up to look good, right? So, All right, there are a couple of other things that were announced as well. 
Uh, new support memory boost stage is coming to Global. Uh, there's going to be an extreme Super Battle Road stage, a regular Super Battle Road stage, uh, as well as Dokkan Battlefield. And then, of course, uh, Quest Mode was announced last night. By the way, stage 35-1. So if we head over to the GP side of things and then go to Quest Mode. Um, this is, I would think... It, people ask me all the time, what is the fastest link level stage? It's 35-1. If you want to go most stamina efficient, which some people care about, and I, again, this is what I've been saying for months as well. I mean, you can fact check me in streams. 34-4, most stamina efficient. But if you want the fastest, it's 35-1. 35-1 is your fastest link level stage. So Global is going to be getting that, which is good. Um, also... Very, very soon, Global is going to be getting uh, this guy, Bardock. Uh, this guy is a future LR, so he'll be coming soon to Global. Um, so let me know what you guys think about Topo coming to Global. Um, I would say it is very good to see them kind of accelerating these releases, getting us closer and closer to, you know, getting Global having all the characters is awesome. We can see the sync manifesting right before us.